Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Jacob, and in this video we are going to be covering one of my favorite features of SAS, and that is nesting. So the SAS that I have right now, well I have a little bit more down below, um, but it looks like this, and I have it linked to this HTML document. So we have pretty simple setup, navigation element, a header element, and an article that we're just going to be styling up just for some fun. Okay, so this these are the basic styles that I have right now. This is what the page looks like. And let's take a look at what the SAS is doing. Of course, this looks pretty much just like normal CSS. And these are just variable definitions that we covered in last week's video. So nothing new there. But down here, SAS gives us this interesting feature, and that is, so we have this nav element right here in our HTML, and inside of the nav element, we have anchor tags, links. In normal CSS, non-sassified CSS, we would have to do something like this, nav a, in order to select that element. Or if you wanted to be really specific, you could do the direct uh, child selector like that. But SAS allows us to directly nest entire rule sets. So this nav a, with the, the, the whole rule set inside of it, comes over here and it compiles to this nav space a. So SAS does that for us. And then the indentation makes it pretty easy to read. That's the advantage that SAS offers us here. Now, of course, there's a lot more that you can do with selectors than just nav a. Like I mentioned before, you can do the direct child selector like that. Um, there are others, and, and like you might want to add a class maybe, like is this the active link? Or uh, maybe get a... a a pseudo element like before and we can't do that just by saying a colon colon before or something like that actually um, for these links I want to add a hover style so hover hover and this hover style is going to be border bottom color goes to white Okay, now if we come over here and see what the SAS has compiled to, it's nav space a space hover. So this is going to select any children of the a tags that are being hovered on. So that means if I come over here and refresh, these don't get the hover style. Only children of those elements would. So SAS provides us with the ampersand and what the ampersand uh, represents is the entire, I'm going to call it lineage, of selectors uh, before. So the whole parent selector. So in this case, the ampersand represents nav space a. Okay, and so if I save and compile this, it compiles to nav space a, and then no space here, and colon hover, which is what we want. If we come over here and refresh, now we get the hover styles on these links. If we use the ampersand and then just put a space and save, it's the exact same thing as not having the ampersand at all. So it's kind of like a shorthand to just ignore the ampersand. The ampersand also allows us to do, um, not, not only can we do these uh, pseudo classes, but if say the, the a tags had a class like uh, active, we can't do that because that, that puts a space there. We would have to put the ampersand like that. And then it compiles correctly. Another thing the ampersand allows you to do that's pretty fun is apply themes to your site. Well, it's not specifically for that purpose, but I used it in my website, geeklaunch.net, to um, implement a simple theme switcher. So I said something like uh, dark theme and the body class would was given the dark theme class or the body element was given the dark theme class and then you put this ampersand 
save that, and it compiles to dark theme, and then the parent selector. And then you could add some styles in here and make it like a dark theme. Since the ampersand pretty much directly replaces uh, the, it is replaced with the selector before it, the, the whole parent selector, it allows us to also say, um, what, what if we had added a class to here, a class link or something, then maybe link blue, we can add that. And then it concatenates directly on, it's like a string operation almost. That's another fun thing you can do with the ampersand. Anyways, I'm gonna leave this as hover. And there's your quick introduction to the ampersand and nesting in general in SAS. Quick note before I let you go though is don't get carried away with the nesting. If you have to nest more than some people say for five levels deep, that's getting on the edge of you're probably not doing something right because it's going to compile to some really long selectors which are going to be bad for the css render times and makes the files bigger and it makes your code base harder to maintain just be careful with this extremely convenient feature of the language use it use it well use it but don't abuse it Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Hope you learned something from it. My name is Jacob, and have a good one.